just for the record, I did block Sonny and I didn't want to But I took him off at eight Uh Joey. Hockey doesn't work, Joey could probably write speeches for the rest of the show. <laughs> I only have words that kind of stuff just to make it a little easier, but um, to start it, it's well, five years, five years career, but the truth is I was an eagle probably since the eagle was here. Um, you know, being a little kid and running around in, in my house playing main sticks, you know, pretending to be guys I had no idea who they were. <laughs> the only team uh, I played against was Halifax, it was the only team I knew. <laughs> First, uh, the first thank you goes to uh, the Cote family, who uh, they introduced me really to uh, the major junior hockey and especially Cape Red as an organization. Um, just always brought me to the games when I was a kid, and I remember I came to a banquet. I think me and Mike just finished uh, for years in, in Bantam, I think it was. And anyway, uh, Pascal just was walking in the washroom and, and Andre said, "Oh, Pascal, is there two future eagles?" And, Pascal, you know, surprised, surprisingly, he was just trying to be a nice guy. He said, oh, really, yeah, whatever. And uh, so I kind of, I'm just maybe mad that he didn't take it serious. Further <laughs> 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 my motivation to uh, become an eagle. And the uh, funny thing is, Mike got a tryout too, so both, uh, you know, we both got to wear the jersey. Um, Second, I'd like to thank uh, everybody in the office upstairs. Um, we got to know each other pretty well over, uh, over the five years I've been here. Um, Paul especially made me feel extremely comfortable here. Um, we've always been open to talk about everything, so I uh, appreciate that a lot. Um, and everyone in the staff, if I start naming names, I'm probably going to forget someone, but all me. Uh, who else? Lorna, we got Lorna. Uh, Gary, Pete, Pete always, always on me to do stuff. <laughs> Just kidding, Pete, obviously. Um, trainers, uh, Al, uh, this is first year here, but uh, it's pretty clear, and if you ask anyone on the team, that you're a step above everyone else that's uh, been in that job, so I hope that uh, <clears throat> for the future of the organization, that you all uh, will continue to work here. Uh, buddy. <laughs> Didn't even look at it, a little laugh. <laughs> He's got some insane greetings, that's all I'm say. But uh, thanks a lot, buddy, for making every day enjoyable. You've always been able to put a smile on my face and, and anyone's face, I'm sure. Um, Al, Sydney, Noah, uh, Mitch, Tristan, you guys too. Just those kind of guys just show that they're happy to be here and happy to be a part of the organization. It shows the you know, quality of those people. I'd like to thank all the doctors for sure because you guys have put numerous stitches in my face. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Kenny, but he's not here. But I'll thank him anyway. You guys can tell me I did. Uh, I'd like to thank all the billets, all the families from over the years. Uh, Alan Norma, thank you very much for everything and everything you've done for the organization, too. Um, well, the uh, Furies, uh, the Wilcox, the Haddads, uh, one of my best, the Pollux, Sharon, what's that? Yeah, you guys have been great to me and welcome me in your house, houses. And, uh, it's just, uh, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, from the suburbs to, uh, you guys are in enough trouble as it is, Linda, so <laughs> the game's a box head. Um, gotta take the fans, obviously. Uh, like I said before, you, you guys uh, are a major part of why the organization is here. And over the years, it just keeps growing, getting better and better. Um, you guys are extremely important to all the players, and, and I know it's not said enough, but we appreciate all the support you give us. And, and how welcome you made everyone feel, especially the guys in my town. Um, coaches, Scotty. Well, Scotty, uh, to be honest, I think he more as a friend than anything, but 
it's been uh, enjoyable to be able to, to see you at the rink and have you here. We've had some disputes. I think we can put them behind us. Uh, John Kabuki just came on this year, but great knowledge for the game. And, and uh, you know, he always has a play in mind. He comes down in between periods to make sure he knows what we know about it. Uh, is that behind John there? I can't see you. Oh, uh, Bear. Uh, Bearcat. A lot of similar qualities to Buddy Clifford, actually. I always put a smile on her face. He's got some insane greetings, too. Um, no, Barrette, you, you deserve a lot of credit for the success of uh, all the players that have come through and, and the organization itself. You make yourself really open to all the players, and it's a, well, it's a, it's a great quality for someone to have. To John, uh, well, thanks for the pickups earlier. there. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. Not really happy with it, but thanks. <laughs> um, again, a, a great knowledge for the game. Uh, always has something to offer, and anything you say, I, I bury that deep in my head. Uh, Mario, it's, uh, it's been a great year. Three years, but this has been the year where uh, you know it's your year more than any. Um, different style than Pascal. But, um, Kind of like uh, Mr. McPhee saying, they all have different styles, but uh, Mario's a coach that definitely treated us all like professionals all year long. <clears throat> it shows, uh, it gives us a chance to kind of take responsibility ourselves. And there's been so much talk about making sure that uh, by the time we leave here that, that we're men and we're ready for the next step, and uh, Mario's definitely been a big part of that this year, and we'll continue to be as long as he's here. Um, well, uh, you guys, some of you guys might not, might not like it, but uh, I have to thank Pascal for sure. He, um, he was a very important part in my life. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Pascal, and I don't look on anything he did badly. That's just a personal thing. So um, he's taught me a lot about the game, and more so life even. But uh, I feel like I owe him a lot. So I'd like to say thanks to him. You guys that, uh, that Mario mentioned, James and Dean, um, both really good friends of mine. <coughs> Over the years, we've become like brothers, and uh, they've had a big influence on my life and, and my career too. Um, James it is, well, he, he's pretty much Superman. If, if you ask me, he's on the ice, and he's strong as an ox. And he, anyone who's come to the games when he was here, you've seen him just go end to end and walk around and pretty much score at will. Um, Dino is, has a ton of skill, but it gets underrated just because of his work ethic alone. He's just always going and going hard, and he is pretty much the definition of a warrior. And uh, those two guys are, are like my brothers today, I like to thank them. Um, <clears throat> next would be Mr. Lynch. Um, like I said, he passed away the year I was drafted, but um, one of the scouts was telling me, well, I told my father's story. That he, uh, when he came around to, to the Eagles selection in uh, the fifth round I was picked, uh, he was the one who had the most influence on, on me being here. So I have to thank him extremely for, for uh, putting him in this position. Um, <clears throat> to my family, um, well, I have great brothers and sisters, and we're always there for each other. We, we're all far away usually, but. Uh, you know, we always know that we're there for each other, and I hope you guys uh, know that I'm there for you too. <clears throat> to my parents, um, I just, like Slaney and Joey said, uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that, that I appreciate everything you've done more than, more than I showed. Um, so, well, I mean, you guys are literally the reason I'm here, so.